Welcome to the Crazy Egg List Report. Because it's a list and not an image, the List Report may not win any beauty contests. But beneath that plain exterior is a lovely potential for profit, just waiting to be noticed. Let's check out a List Report from Crazy Egg co-founder Neil Patel's blog, quicksprout.com. What you see here is every element that Crazy Egg identifies on your page. There are images, links, text, and forms. The other element you'll see a lot of is layout. Layouts are sections of a page, like a sidebar, which holds several elements like images and links. We include layouts because often a click will not be on any other type of element, but simply inside that layout area. The first tab is visible on this page. The elements in the visible tab are clicks to elements on your page that are visible in the screenshot of your snapshot. The second tab is not visible. The elements here are all the items which we could not visually capture, such as drop-down boxes or pop-ups on your page. The third tab is both, where the visible and not visible sections are combined. The heat map, overlay and confetti reports visually display the clicks based on the data from the visible tab only. It's important to take a look at the not visible tab because it's possible that clicks took place on a hidden element such as pop-ups. The other reports would not visually represent these clicks. Notice that the top element in the not visible tab is 75 content marketing tools you can't live without with 5.3% of clicks. When we switch over to both, that same item still shows the same amount of clicks, 720, but is now ranked third with 2.6% of clicks. The percentages will be different on each tab because the percentages are calculated per tab. Looking at the both tab, we can see that the element with the highest number of clicks is two. This is a good example of why you should look at this report on a regular basis. The two in this case represents a link to the next page or second page. The number of clicks indicates this is a popular link and that visitors are taking time to browse other blog articles on this site. The real magic in this and any of the reports appears after asking yourself questions. Questions like, I wonder if the wording I used for the drop-down might also be adapted to work on the page link. Would I see an increase in the number of clicks for this under the visible tab next time? From time to time, be sure to review the list report. This report will give you a true idea of the overall popularity of elements on your page. And, as with any popularity contest, what was once popular 20 minutes ago may not be popular now. Because the list report can get quite long, you can go here and export the data to a CSV file and then analyze it in your favorite spreadsheet program. Happy number crunching!